Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 232. As always, I am Shane Thomas. Make sure you are following me on Twitter at smthomas3 and check out codecrowdy.com, sign up for the newsletter and make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the SVG image module in Drupal 8. So this is going to be a really short episode, but sometimes you have SVG images that you want to upload in a normal image field in Drupal. Uh, why would you want to use SVGs? Well, sometimes you want to use a vector image versus just a you know just a standard PNG or JPEG. So it's uh, you may have that requirement. If so, it's really simple. We're going to talk about the SVG image module. So we're on the SVG image module page, drupal.org slash project slash SVG underscore image. You can see it just changes the default field widget and format formatter to allow SVG images with the standard Drupal image module. We're using the 8.x-1.9 version today. So if we head on over to the website, we'll make sure we have it installed, which we do. So there's not there's no extra configuration options. All I'm going to do to show this thing off is go to structure, content types, article, now manage fields. So by default, there's an image field on the article content type. So I'm going to edit that. I need to make sure under allowed file extensions that I'm adding SVG. So just comma, add SVG. I don't need to change anything else. So I'll save that. Now under manage dis or manage, yeah, manage display here, we can go to our image. And if we edit this, you'll see there are a few additional options. So there's this option to render the SVG image as an image tag. So this is on by default and basically it'll, instead of rendering the SVG as an SVG tag, it'll render it as an image tag. Um, you might wanna do that uh, for, depending on the types of browser you wanna support, things like that. Uh, you can leave it on by default or you can choose to uncheck it and then it'll use the SVG tag. You can also set a hard width and height for SVGs that are in a specific image field. So if you had a specific requirement for you wanted to set height and width, you could change that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to content and we're gonna add an article. So I'm just gonna call it SVG example. I don't need any body text right now. You can see I now have my image field. I can upload an SVG to it. So I'm just going to upload an SVG image, call it Code Karate Logo, and I'm going to save it. And now you can see it loads just like any other image would. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. It was short, it was sweet, but it's a useful module um, depending on if you need to support SVG images on your Drupal site. That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>